Canelo Alvarez needs to knock out Edgar Berlanga to get respect from the fans. No, false. Canelo Alvarez is at the end of his career, and right now he just wants to make fun fights, entertain his fans, and make a lot of money doing it. And he will carry Edgar Berlanga just like he did Jaime Moigia. Canelo is going to deliver on a good fight, and he's at the end of his career, so we just really don't know what's next for Canelo. But let's talk about the fight. Let's get right into it. Canelo Alvarez faces Edgar Berlanga. Nobody, nobody wanted this fight. I, not even me i'm a huge canelo fan but after a few you know just times that go by you start i i really start to think man what is it? i think the number 18 world champions that canelo has defeated and i just start to think man when you're at top for for so long and you've been doing it for so long you know i think he became pro at 16 years old he's been doing it for a fucking long time and i think canelo now he realizes he's getting older he realizes that you know the end is near for his career i'm sure he wants to keep fighting for a while but he doesn't want to fight the sharks he doesn't want to fight the killers he wants to sell and make you know and make some pretty good money deliver on good fights entertaining fights that the people will enjoy and you know he's gonna fight opponents that are not the the toughest opponents the scariest opponents i think uh, seeing canelo fighting the scariest guys i think we're kind of done and past that chapter in canelo's career i think now he's just gonna have these kind of fights with you know pretty solid opponents and uh he's just going to deliver on the performance that's all i really can say about canelo because i can sit here and bash canelo for not fighting benavides i can bash him for not fighting uh terence crawford but at the end of the day canelo has already delivered on so many occasions bro so it as a fan and you know i'm just like i i can't just be asking for so much more from canelo when for so long he's been delivering us so much fucking uh you know good boxing fights performances fighting the best and um it, it just seems like we didn't as uh, you know as a majority of the group you know where there's boxing fans or canelo fans it just seems like we didn't really enjoy and appreciate canelo when he was beating world champions right and now that there's david benavidez terence crawford we want him to do that it's like but what about the last 18 world champions that he already fought and, um, you know, that's kind of where I stand with Canelo. I'm, you know what, Canelo, you're right, bro. Like, he already did what he had to do in the sport. And um, I don't, you know, whatever he decides to do next, you know, more power to Canelo. Canelo has already achieved so much. And, um, you know, like, you really can't take anything away from that. So there's nothing really bad you could say about Canelo. You know, I we all kind of know now, end of his career, he wants to fight um, these type of fights. And, and, you know, more power to Canelo. If he wants to fight Jake Paul, Conor McGregor, like we're getting towards that time for Canelo Alvarez. And um, he has a family, he has a wife. You know, I'm sure he just wants to, you know, take care of his family and make as much money as he can and wants to be healthy, you know. Um, Canelo hasn't took too much damage as a boxer, so I'm sure he's not uh, too too beat up in the brain or in the head and just physically as well. So, um, you know, for Canelo, he's taking care of himself, looking out for himself, for his family. So you can't really blame Canelo for fighting someone like Edgar Berlanga. Now, uh, just to talk about the fight, I mean, there's nothing much you could say. I think this fight's going to go exactly like the Jaime Muguia's fight's going to go. I think it was today or yesterday, there was an interview where they asked him, um, like, hey, did you hold Jaime Muguia from falling? And he's like, oh, yeah, I did that from the first round. But I think he was kind of saying that he carried Muguia throughout the whole fight, um, not necessarily holding him, right? Um, so it just goes to show you that uh, Canelo knew that he was the better fighter. He knew he could easily hurt Muigia, but he wanted to have fun. He wanted to make the fight interesting. He wanted the fans to get into it. And um, you can kind of see that Canelo's doing those type of fights now. Like he he's going to pick an opponent that like he, he'll let he'll let Berlanga touch him up, piece him up, put some nice combinations. Because Canelo knows I can put this guy out in the first round or the second round, right? The max three rounds. But Canelo knows and loves the Mexican fans, loves the people. He wants to get good pay-per-view numbers. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to let this fighter get comfortable. I'm going to let him piece me up a little bit. Let him get some confidence to get real aggressive with me. And then I'll just put him out a little bit on the later rounds. And it'll look like a, a nice performance from Canelo. And it'll be entertaining and it'll be fun. You know, like I said, Canelo right now is being, what is it called? Like, he's really pulling the strings in this boxing fight. He'll carry Berlanga. 
and uh, most likely finish it. If not, he'll take it to decision and, and just have a fun decision, right? Canelo, I don't think he's worried and or, or too scared for Berlanga. I'm sure he's well prepared for Berlanga, but I think Canelo's just going to carry this fight and he's going to put on a show. He's not even going to put like a performance. He's going to put on a nice show for us and we're going to watch and we're going to enjoy it and uh, we'll just see who he decides to, if he's going to call out somebody. I know this is his last fight with PBC. As far as I know, I don't think he's extended that. Um, so we'll just see what he decides to do after. That'll be real interesting to hear his uh, post-fight. That's kind of what I look most forward to when he fights is the post-fight interview, not the actual fight itself. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. You know, Canelo's going to win this fight, no questions. Now, if Edgar Berlanga, you know, if he manages to beat Canelo, that'll be fucking crazy, and it'll be... It'll be talked about for a long time. So it, I, I always kind of root for that type of story. But, you know, the chances of that happening um, would be are very low. But if it did happen, can you imagine Edgar Berlanga beats Canelo in decision? It would be fucking crazy. Or even knock him out. Like, I mean, that would it would erupt the world, the Internet, the, everywhere. Eh? That shit would erupt everywhere. Um, but, you know, for Berlanga, you know, he needs to know what he's walking into. He needs to just know that why he was chosen. And uh, try to ride off this fight, you know, be like, you know what, I'm not going to beat Canelo, but I can make the most out of this moment and try to capitalize and, and get the bigger fights after I uh, learn from this fight. And like I said, leave a good impression on other boxers that want to fight Edgar Berlanga. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just hope Berlanga doesn't get too discouraged or things like that, but kind of use this fight for uh, future opportunities. So. Let me know how you guys think it's going to fight. It's going to go. Let me know how you think this fight's going to go. Um, and uh, if you guys agree with me that Canelo kind of carries a fighter now and kind of puts on a, a show slash performance, whatever. Um, or if, you know, if you guys really think that Berlang is going to win, let me know in the comments below. See you guys on the next one. Let's enjoy this weekend. We got UFC and Canelo. Don't even try to compare one or another. Let's enjoy both sports and have a good fucking time with our friends and family. Peace.